Hi, um, this is another in an ongoing series of videos dealing with Bell's palsy, uh, in particular long-term effects. Um, I'm Shelly, and I've had Bell's palsy for about, well, a little over 11 years, coming close to 11 and a half years now. And I'm working with a facial physical therapist and going to start getting Botox treatments in about a month. But one of the things that I want to talk about today is what it feels like to be going through this. Maybe you have been diagnosed with Bell's palsy or someone around you. Chances are there's some way that this has impacted you or you wouldn't be watching this video. So I want to talk a little bit about the way that this has made me feel and maybe it'll help someone else to be able to deal with their own stuff. Uh, I was nine months pregnant, eight and a half months pregnant when the bells hit. I'm fairly certain that it was an injury to the nerve. I won't get into a lot of details about it, but it was not viral in my case. Because I was pregnant, I was not willing to do steroids. I did some acupuncture. My son was born nine days after the onset of the bells. Um, it actually hit the day before Halloween for me. so. That was an additional layer of horrible. Um, I can't tell you how awful this is. And I got the fun kind of Bell's palsy that comes with trigeminal neuralgia. And that is some of the worst pain I have ever experienced in my life, hands down. It was awful. I wouldn't wish that on Hitler. Um, anyway, I was very pregnant. That's a difficult time. I... I felt hideous. It was the day before Halloween. I remember remarking to my husband that I didn't need a mask. I wouldn't leave the house. Um, we turned off the light. I sent him trick-or-treating with our older son who was um, three at the time. I just sent them away. I don't have words. It was terrible. I I don't know where my son's childbirth tape is. I haven't looked at photographs of his birth and his early years. <laughs> I don't want to and I don't want to see it I had full droopy paralysis um, when I went to the therapist today she asked me what uh, the physical therapist Kathy Norton at the um, Phi Beta Pi uh, rehabilitation center at Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville. She asked me what I hoped to get out of therapy. And I told her I wanted my smile 
back because I don't feel like I've smiled for real in a lot of years. And um, I don't feel like my 11 year old has ever seen me smile. I'm tired of resting bitch face. I think that because we communicate so much with our faces when we when our faces aren't working properly it's really easy for other people to misread I think there's a lot of miscommunication that happens for me I think that I seem disapproving when I'm not and I think that I never look really happy no matter what and when I do smile or laugh I feel the asymmetry more and it makes it worse somehow there's a line in Rocky Horror Picture Show even smiling makes my face ache And that's really kind of how it is. Physically, it hurts because it's tight. Emotionally, it hurts even more because it doesn't work right. And anytime I'm reminded of that is awful. I can't stand photographs. They, I've, I've, my mind has compensated for the fact that when I look in the mirror, I see the, the synchinesis on this side. When I look at it um, in a picture or on this video, it's a big deal that I'm doing this, um, when I do that, it's flipped the other way, opposite of what I'm used to. So it, it looks worse to me. And people around me say they don't see it, and I know some of them are being kind. And I know some people really, truly don't see it. Uh, the people that have known me, that knew me prior to the Bells, they see it. I know they do. And I'm not saying that I was a vain person. I don't think I was. Maybe I was. Prior to the onset. But I've, I've felt ugly for the last 11 and a half years. And I'm tired of that. And I really want to work through this. I want to smile and laugh. And I want to eat without my eye closing. I don't want to look like I'm pissed off all the time. I don't want to look like I disapprove. I feel like I always just look angry and I think that as I said that causes miscommunication because I, I look judgmental when I'm not.
okay, this is a huge, huge leap. I don't know if anybody is going to be out there watching this, but it's a big deal that I'm putting it out there. I'll keep everybody posted how the therapy goes. Thanks for watching.